Alright guys, in this video we're going to be talking about everyone's favourite thing, ships. And apparently 71% of you want this video, so are ships underrated? We'll be answering that today. So we can safely say that all these are a piece of shit, and we're not even going to consider any of them. Well, I think we should go into this. The Fair Mile, I don't know. That's just, no. I suppose it's kind of good, but compared to the two, not really. Firstly we've got the PG-02, I think this has got some like 1800 health. That's more than like most tanks by the way. I'm going to tell you a little story about the time I was raiding someone. So basically, you know, I was in an F-35 as I am, so I was like, oh, it's easy, you know, just as you do, raiding the base. And then he pulls out a PGO 2 and I'm thinking, oh, that's not really that good. It'll be alright. Yeah, but it actually, it actually shreds. And it takes so much to kill it, you have to hit it with all your missiles, and drop your bombs on it and probably miss. And by then it's still only going half health, and you'll probably be nearly dead. So I think the PGO 2 is a real threat to planes, really. But then again, the PGO 2 isn't overly good, because think about anything else, basically. I'd say a tank, if a tank was there. I wouldn't do that much damage to it. It's basically just a C ram on water. But as you can see, I can just hide behind the building, make sure I can't be seen, and then I'm fine, really. So I do think this vehicle is the best if you're being raided. So if you ever get raided, use a PGO2. So if you think about it, helis are going to get killed, planes are going to get killed, tanks are probably going to get killed pretty quick. No one expects a boat. No one ever expects a boat. All right, the other ship, USS Douglas. So this is a 75mm cannon, which is the same as a Sherman. So it's basically a Sherman auto cannon, if you want to put it that way. And it's great at anti air if you hit shots. There you go, can two hit a little bird. I remember when it first got added, two hits from this could actually kill a plate, and they made it like half powerful to four. You can see that there? I hit it about three times and it's nearly dead. So the wire guided, they're also really useful. Maybe that's really good for hitting like tanks and stuff that's on the other side. And also really good against planes as well. So the Douglas, it's, it's amazing. It's got this amazing auto cannon there. It's got two wire guided missiles, great anti air, great anti tank. So the big question is why don't people use it? I think it's pretty simple really. So most people, uh, they kind of want to go inland. Like say that heli there, if I want to chase it, I could obviously, if it was in a tank, I could chase that for quite a while. But on here, I'm limited to the sea only. And this is the most annoying part you'll ever find. I've got to sit here and do this to get past the bridge. But look how much of a pain this is. I've used up that entire auto cannon, and it's not broken yet. And this is the most powerful one, by the way. The PGO2 and Fair Mile is way more annoying than that. So what could water tycoon do to make ships better? We've got a number of ideas. So one of them is obviously get a new map where there's a lot more ocean, there's a lot more use for boats, and obviously the bridges are higher. Add boat repair yards, to, as you see I'm on 58% right now, and I don't have to go back to my base and get another. Then another one, I think aircraft carrier, but obviously that's going to be really hard to do, so I'll have to do a lot of thinking in that. You know, it'll take ages to do, but they will be cool. Submarines would also be cool. And generally just a lot more boats, and then obviously boat parts as well. So to answer the final question, I'd say yes, they are underrated. I think all they need to do, make a new map, which I think they are doing by the way, I think in about September time, they're going to be releasing a new map, I'm not 100% on that, that's just a guess. But if they do, they'll have a lot higher bridges and ships will just be able to roam a bit more. There we go, got a wire guided. And to make it even better, if you have friends, you do get to use the machine guns here, or just get off and do it yourself. Just like this. There we go. I, will, I won't lie to you, that's the first time I've used these. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video. And also, I've got some good news. Can you guess what it is? Chat's back. Finally. My chat is back. Anyway, yeah, see you in the next one. Thank you to all the channel members. I'll put them all on screen now.